13 electoral votes. Here's how it's uh, shaking out right now. Clinton had it 48, 47% over Trump. What does this mean to the electoral map? Let's take you down to the ice and see where things stand. Trump with 168, Clinton with 122 as our map begins to fill in. But there are some states in gray right there who are going to create a lot of upset stomachs and drama in both campaigns tonight. Let's go to Chuck Todd right now, who is with some of our pollsters to get a little read on what we're seeing here and how we got here. I'm with Bill McInturf, Republican, Fred Yang, Democrat. These guys are the brains behind the home is the other story here not only in the uh, not only have we seen in the excerpts blowing through the roof the trump voter but as bill as bill noted um your college educated white voter she's doing well but she's not doing as well as they expected it so cancel out what he got and, and listen this was always out of reach for him when he was fighting with his own party that's why it was viewed as so calamitous when he went to war with republicans the intra-party fighting was viewed as disastrous but that hasn't really been the case for the last few weeks the closing weeks of this campaign have had republicans even paul ryan who we were talking about in the last hour singing off of the same and song sheet about care. clinton corruption. don't forget health care either exactly, they, they, huge story. you know when, when those premiums went up they obviously their research said go out.
following messages transmitted at the request of the Wyndham County, Vermont Sheriff's Office, the Franklin County, Massachusetts Sheriff's Office, and the Vernon Police Department. At 6.49 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a color meltdown occurred at the Vernon Yankee Power Plant, causing a release of hazardous chemicals into the air. At this time, the area within a two-mile radius of the Vernon Yankee Power Plant has been evacuated, and is now closed to all traffic. All areas within a 10-mile radius of the plant are now under a mandatory evacuation order. This order includes northern parts of Franklin County, Massachusetts. Suggested routes for evacuation include Interstate 91, Vermont and Massachusetts Route 142, and United States Route 5. Shelters are being staged in the following counties, Bennington, Vermont, Windsor, Vermont, Berkshire, Massachusetts, and Worcester, Massachusetts. If you need assistance in evacuating, law enforcement will help you. Please take all necessary supplies with you, such as food, water, clothing, and medical supplies. Turn off all ventilation systems, heating and air conditioning, close all doors and windows, and seal any cracks. When in your car, do not turn on air conditioning, close all vents, and keep doors and windows sealed. Attach a white towel to your mailbox, to show that you have followed the evacuation order. An all clear will be announced when the situation is over. Please stay tuned to local media outlets for more details as the situation develops.
The National Weather Service in Paducah has issued a tornado warning for Northern Scott County in Southeast Missouri until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Chaffee and moving east at 45 miles per hour. A funnel cloud was reported near Chaffee by rainstorm spotters. Tornado and quarter size hail. Weather spotters reported funnel cloud. Impact flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Kelso and Brenton around 3.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This is an extremely life-threatening situation. Other locations in the warning include Lambert and Commerce. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home a vehicle or a doors move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris.